Next, is the header tags from H1 to H6. We already discussed this basic header tags on our previous video. We will provide links above and below on this video. Next, is the HR tag. This tag is used to set a separator line on the web page. If you want to set a boundary on the contents inside the web page, this is generally used for web articles to put a separation of different topics provided on the web page. Next, is the eye tag. This tag will basically italicize your text. We'll try to italicize the text we have set and check if IT really displays. Next, is the iframe tag. This tag is used to set another screen or another window on the web page. Try to input our website that is still on developing stage and let us check if IT do correspond to page within the page. Next, is the image tag. We will try to download another image and try to use IT inside the web page. We will try the PNG logo which is located at the desktop. Always see to the image format is properly set up on the code. Lastly, is the input tag. This tag is generally used for fetching details provided and inputted by the user to save directly from the web page database. Tags such as input and label are usually used here. Label tag is the displayed text beside the text box.
will try to include first name, middle name and last name on the form. Also, we will have to set up an input button on the form in which corresponds to the input and text on the text box. These are the progress we have made from the two video tutorial. And these are the progress on the sample web page we have created from our two parts of video tutorial for coding HTML.